Welcome back and Merry Christmas. We've got some really, really cold weather coming. It's supposed to get down to 16 degrees. Now for us, that is incredibly brutal. Everything is gonna get wrecked, like the citrus and whatever's in the garden. Anything we don't really take care of is gonna get wrecked. So I'm gonna show you a couple of simple frost protection things that we're doing for those overnight lows that are unexpected and bad. And the first thing is mulch, mulch, mulch. So right here is a little circle of sugar cane that we planted and you can't see any sugar cane. That's because it's beneath a few inches of soil and a pile of mulch. There's at least six inches of mulch on top of it inside of that pit there. And that will help protect things from freezing. That's very important. So number one is mulch. Number two is thermal mass. Right here I have a 55 gallon drum that is full of water. Actually, this might be a 45 gallon drum, but you get the idea. And this little loquat right here is putting on new leaves and it is a young loquat. And 16 degrees might really harm it or even kill it to the ground and we don't want that. So this 55 gallon drum right next to it is on the north side. And I don't know that that matters very much, but it'll help block the north wind a little bit. And then all we have to do is cover this then with some blankets or sheets. And we got a few bags of blankets and sheets from the local thrift store. And that is really easy protection overnight. This is gonna act like a heater the entire night. It takes a lot of energy to freeze that much water and it's not gonna be a problem. We should be perfectly fine. Uh, even through a 16 degree night, that's not going to freeze and it's going to keep it well above the temperature of the surrounding area. Plus, having that cover over the top will help protect the frost from coming down with the cold overnight. Your third easy frost protection is canopy. This is a great big magnolia tree right here. And at the base of it are my young satsuma trees. These are just inside of the canopy by a few feet and that overnight will help protect the cold from coming down. As a matter of fact, we walked out here the other day and we saw how the frost formed a circle just outside of the canopy. The frost is just right outside like there. And these guys were perfectly fine. Didn't touch the little trees, but we're not taking any chances. We're also giving them these 45 gallon drums full of water. There's a 55 gallon drum over here because that's an extra special one, I guess. And that will help protect it. But there is one more thing. So we're gonna stop and then I'll start again so I can say the one more thing. Yes, it's mulch again, but this is a different application of the mulch. Right down here at the base of this, there is a graft point where this was grafted. It is right there. That is the graft where it was grafted onto the rootstock. If you have a tree, particularly a citrus like this, that you're afraid is going to freeze, potentially cover that graft point. Mulch up around it, hill up around it with some good uh, dirt or mulch or whatever you got. Give it a really good hilling up and protect that. That way, even if it got really, really brutally cold and everything that you did didn't work, you have another chance because it's not freezing down to the rootstock. Instead, it will freeze down to above the rootstock and the top of this could regrow in the next year and you'd still have that beautiful, delicious variety of citrus that you started with. So there's yet another idea. And now I have another idea. Let's go. Thermal mass. There are two pieces of wall right here, both of which hold a lot of heat overnight. This is also the south facing wall of my house. And the south facing wall is protecting, there's a whole house between this and the north winds, but there's also the warmth of this wall, the warmth of that wall, and the warmth of this tiny car. That's incredible. The south facing wall of a building can be as much as an entire zone warmer. 
So if you're in an area, say, where it's too cold to grow peaches, you can actually espalier a peach to the south facing wall of your house and often grow peaches in a place where you might not be able to do it otherwise. Don't overlook the really simple solution of just planting something right next to your house, especially on the south facing wall. Finally, we're over here in the row gardens. So that's what we did over in the food forest area. This is what we're doing in the row gardens. These mounds of leaves are covering our cabbages and broccoli and cauliflower. They can take some cold temperatures, but they can't take temperatures down to 16 degrees without getting a lot of damage. They're just not used to it. They're not gonna be able to handle it. It's gonna really wreck them. But just having these layers of leaves will make a big difference. So cover with those fall leaves. Over here, we're gonna throw some sheets over these radishes and hope for the best because this is a complicated mess of radishes and it is what it is. We didn't have enough material to cover with and frankly, I got really tired of raking. But this right here should be enough to protect them right on through and it's just another method. Use those fall leaves as a blanket and you can extend your season considerably without having to get a greenhouse or put up some plastic or little hoops or anything like that. Just use what God gave you. Thanks for joining me. I hope that just gives you a few ideas on how to do some simple frost protection. It'll last you through a few nights that way, but if you're in a really cold climate, obviously you're probably just gonna have to stop gardening or plant plants that really agree with the climate. Here we can manage to do some citrus because it's only a few nights a year that get cold and this is really cold. We'll sometimes get something like 20 frosts or 25 frosts but get down to the teens is really an outlier for us so if you can prepare like this and just get a few more degrees warmer so things live through it allows us to grow stuff that is probably a little happier further south we do what we can thanks for joining me if you're interested in frost protection and growing plants outside of their zone please check out my book push the zone the Good Guide to Growing Tropical Plants Beyond the Tropics. It tells of many of our experiments with pushing zones and a lot of information I dug up from other people that have done it, even in more cold climates. Push the Zone, The Good Guide to Growing Tropical Plants Beyond the Tropics. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the week and have a very Merry Christmas. And may your thumbs be merry and bright.